Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to be talking about supports in Bamboo Studio. Now, if you are new to 3D printing, um, there might be a chance that you are confused about supports, right? And I'm a member of a couple of forums and uh, yeah, I, I see a lot of questions about it, right? So uh, I'm going to walk through um, the whole support deal, okay? So I loaded up this guy, Harry. We're gonna call him Harry. I don't know what his name is, but I printed him recently and that was pretty cool. And uh, I got this off of uh, Maker World. So that's where you can find it, right? Okay, so I loaded up the model. And then if we look at our tabs here, quality, strength, speed, support, and others, the one they're interested in, of course, is the support tab, right? Now I turn support off. And if I now splice the plate, I'm gonna get a warning. And we'll do that. And the warning will be that there are certain parts of my model that are floating in thin air. They're not supported by anything and they really need a support. Something to that extent, right? Warning, it seems that the object has floating regions. Yep, no kidding. So if you go to the bottom, oh, let's uh, have it finish. Yeah, there you go. If you go to the bottom here, you see a whole bunch of blue areas that uh, are need support, right? Now, how do I know that? Well, if we look at this color, color scheme here, you see overhang wall is in blue. So we've got blue on the bottom here, on the inside and so forth and so on, okay? So how do we deal with that? Well, what we're gonna do, of course, is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna turn on enable support. And now if we splice this again, the warning will go away, we'll get new supports and there you go, ready to print, right? Now, if that were the case, then this would be a very, very short video. And uh, yes, you can go that route and usually it works just fine. Here you see that now uh, for the majority of this blue area, there are supports created. Now, the printer is able to do some overhang to a certain angle, but you do need uh, supports in certain areas, right? Okay, let's look at the shape of these supports. I just simply clicked on enable support and the type that I'm getting here is tree. And this looks like a tree, so that kind of makes sense. And you can see here that support is in bright green. There you go. The orange is the outer wall of the skull. The blue is the overhang area. And we already know that, right? Okay, so what I can do here is I can change the type. Let's say I want to have normal auto. So if I splice this again, I'm going to get something that looks a little bit more like cubes. And I guess it's kind of a preference. I personally like to use the tree uh, setup because they're easier to remove, I think. But, uh, you know, I'll just let you see what that looks like. Something like that, right? And when I remove the supports there, first of all, I think there are more supports. You can see that the total print time of the supports alone is 39 minutes and that's 14.7% of the total, okay? So I'm gonna quickly switch that back uh, to tree. And then down here, there are two uh, manual settings, but I'm gonna go with something else there. And uh, what we'll do is, yeah, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute, okay. So furthermore, you have on build plate only, you can turn that on. So the tree uh, supports originate from the build plate and then remove small overhangs. Now down here, you can choose the filament you wanna use for the supports. Um, if you have special filament for supports, you can uh, use that. If you uh, want to use a different color for some reason, you can do that as well, right? Um, down here, I'm not going to mess with these. That's a little bit advanced and I'm not going to mess with that in this video. So we're going to leave that alone. But we are going to talk about uh, adding or blocking supports manually. Okay. So uh, I can either turn this off or I can turn this on and set it to normal and manual or tree manual. And I'm just going to set this to tree and manual. Okay. So we're going to splice that. See what we get. Okay, so because it's tree and manual, we are gonna get trees if we paint supports, but there are none here yet. And why are there none? Because we set it to manual, okay? So here you can paint in supports. 
Now, how do you do that? Well, we're going to go to the prepare tab and we're going to click on our skull and we're going to go up to this icon right here, support painting. And the shortcut for that is L, right? So click on this or hit L on your keyboard. Now, when you click on that, we have a couple of, let's call it brush options. This is simply a circle. So you can go in here and do something like this. I'll uh, get rid of that. You can use a sphere. So that's more three dimensional. So if you go in here, you can see it's painting behind there, where if I did this with this guy, it would be on top and it wouldn't be behind that bone, right? And then you have the fill bucket like in Photoshop and then you got the gap fill if there's a tiny gap, right? Now let's get rid of this and we're all good and let's say i want to paint some uh, supports now i could go in here and say okay i got the circle and i'm gonna paint this whole region that kind of thing right and then i'm gonna go and splice it we'll give it a second and there you go i have tree supports because that's what i selected i selected manual and i added them manually so it's all good right well, not really, because there are a lot more areas that need supports, and that's very, very tedious. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to Tree and Auto. All right. And I'm going to splice it, and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select areas that where I do or do not want supports. So once again, we're going to click on uh, Slice the Plate. And there you go. And this is what the system came up with. And that looks pretty good. And actually, I know that because I printed this guy. But let's say we want to do some tweaking, right? All right. So if we look at the blue overhang wall, you can see that down here. You see that, for example, in the eye sockets here, there's a blue area where there are no supports. So what I could do is I could go to the prepare tab and I could click on this icon right here. I could go to my circle. I can change the pen size because I don't want that to be huge. And I can go in here and paint that area green, right? And I'm gonna paint this area green as well. And of course you're gonna take your time. And um, I want to have some supports there. Okay, cool. Now, in addition, there's an area where I don't want supports. And actually, it seems that I turned this green here, but it's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and my marker will turn red. And red is the uh, official color for no or stop or I don't want or whatever. And just for illustration purposes, I'm going to make a huge area red right here. Okay. So the eye sockets are green. I want additional supports there besides the ones that were already created automatically. And then I want to remove a bunch that were created automatically, right? Let's splice one more time. And we should have supports under the eyes and we should have an area without supports under the base of the skull. Okay, so I've got massive supports going to the eyes and this would look cool on a metal t-shirt, but that's beside the point. So I painted this area, so now I got a bunch of tree supports, but you can see that now it went from, uh, I think it was 17 minutes to uh, 22. Um, so need to uh, keep that in mind. And then down here, there's an area that I painted where there are now no longer supports, okay? So uh, looking at this tab right here, these are the things you can do in this menu. You can click on it. You can use the sphere 2D, 3D if you want to have the backside as well. The fill bucket and the closed gap. You can change the pen size, make it very large if you want, or very small if you want. The uh, highlight of the overhangs, that's kind of cool. You can uh, go and increase that and then you'll see all the areas where potentially support is needed right this is max i usually just leave it at default and then the section view especially with a model looking like this is very very cool because here are a lot of little tiny gaps and whatnot and it's kind of hard to see right 
So what you can do is go to section view and as you move this, it will literally start to slice the skull like this, right? So you can go and have a look at it. So I think if I do this, yeah, you can literally cut that in half. Pretty neat, right? So yeah, that's how that works. Um, like I said, I'm gonna skip the more advanced settings, but now you hopefully have a better understanding of what supports are, how to manage them, and why you need them, okay? Now, this channel is a fairly new channel, so if you like this kind of thing and you want to see more in the future, uh, do me a solid and hit that sub button, right? That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.